several theaters who were interested in producing the play, one of which was the Old Repertory Theater. And uh, I asked Lloyd if he was going to direct the play, and he said yes, and I thought that was a good idea. So uh, at some time, April, I think, of 84, I got off the train in New Haven, uncertain as to what was going to happen, but prepared to work, and uh, that's when we first started working together. There is a basic feel that you share, and a basic goal that you share that doesn't need all that articulation, if it is really there. We work for the requirements of the script I mean, without any commercial pressures, what is, are the requirements of the script? How best can we illuminate that? And I have found that, that uh, the, for me, the, director has, uh, the director's responsibility is to, and this is and what Lloyd does so well in working with the actors, is to put up the play that the playwright wrote rather than imposing a vision on it, is to illuminate the text. And so we don't have the problem where he's trying to impose his vision on what he would like to see as opposed to what the playwright wrote. And it's been very helpful to me in, in the four process is to better understand what I wrote. And I think what he was saying earlier is that I know the characters in a play on one level. And in working with the actors and trying to get them to, to realize the characters, he knows them at, at a point better than I do. And I've been surprised sometimes at some of the things that he would say to the actors that really had told me that he knew what was happening with the characters. I'll tell you what I feel. And I have never said this in front of August, so I don't know how he feels about it. I feel that there is uh, a point in the work where the playwright knows about every individual character more than anyone. All things being equal, if the work progresses, there is a point at which the director may know more about uh, certain individual characters than even the playwright. All things being equal, there is a point at which the good actor knows more about that role than either the playwright or the director, because he is the only person who lives through it in relation to other people living through it. Yeah. August can take it or any playwright and I can and live through it, but you're always living through it alone. The actor lives through the moment in relation to other people doing mm -hmm. the same. And it's, uh, so that as an experience is something no one else has. And that is uh, a little magic and that, that, uh, that happens, that I want to know what's going on in that encounter, because wonderful things can happen out of it. The opportunity to go back into the rehearsal process with the same cast as we did for Fences is, is I, I can't say enough how important that is and how one is like rehearsing for eight weeks, nine weeks. The actors deepen in their understanding, they, and the, you learn some more, some things that you, that you haven't seen. Uh, the first time around because the actors are working harder and they're, they're learning more and their characters are deepening and the whole play is suddenly taking on a new vitality. And then if, you have the, if you're fortunate to have the opportunity to go a third time in the rehearsal process, I mean, I think some really great things come out of uh, working that way.